It's Madden NFL 24, where division rivals will clash in the NFC West. It's the Los Angeles Rams and the Arizona Cardinals. All that and more coming up next. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Today we've got an NFC matchup on tap as it will be the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Brandon Gordon with Charles Davis. Uh, CD, big changes underfoot here in the desert for 2023. Most notably, new coaching staff. But I guess change seems inevitable when you come off a 4-13 and season, does it not? Absolutely. I think you're perfectly on track with that. And I think some of the change is going to be on offense where they were a little more wide open. But now, a bit more buttoned up, I would anticipate. And on defense, head coach, that's his background. I think he's going to throw a lot of different things at teams trying to keep this team in contention. Then for the visiting Rams, you know, they found out the hard way that you need a lot of good fortune when you win a Super Bowl title. And when you don't get that good fortune as they didn't last year, things can crash down to earth in a hurry. And none of us really saw this coming. Remember, they were 12 and 5 the year they won the Super Bowl. Won 5 and 12 last year. Somehow I think this Rams team is better than what we saw last season, adding in a lot of new pieces in order to try and get back to the top of the NFC West. Now the big leg of Matt Prater ready to get this one started. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. Fielded just outside the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. So here are the Rams set to go to work on offense. And they're led by a man who topped the 50,000-yard mark in passing for his career a season ago. In year 15 now, here's Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick. Throughout his career, he's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. A quick throw caught by Cup out wide. And he will lose yardage on the play, back at his own 19-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. They completed the screen on the perimeter, but boy, that was textbook defense. Exactly as you're taught to play against a wide receiver screen, and they snuffed it out for a loss of yardage. Here's Stafford. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. Out of the gun, Stafford. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A nice pickup of 23 on the third down conversion. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Throwing again is Stafford. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Now a play fake it at Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. That one covers 29 yards, first down. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. It's 
Our game not even two minutes old, but a quick red zone opportunity. First and ten right at the 20. Throwing quickly out wide, Atwell. And the Rams are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. The opening drive, it continues, Charles, to be all pass, and it's working. Now they're on the doorstep of a touchdown here, first and goal. Brandon, because it's working so well, I think the entire playbook is open for them right now. Do you want to run it? Do you want to continue to throw it? Spin the dial. Make your choice. But right now, you like what you're doing in this possession. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Puka Nakua from four yards out. And the Rams will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Personally for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You can have a lot to handle in this one. Extra point right down the middle, and that makes the score 7-0. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this taken in at the goal line. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Well, the Cardinals offense set to take over for the first time, and they are piloted by their fifth-year quarterback, Two-time pro bowler as well, Kyler Murray. Drafted with the idea that he'd be one of the most dangerous quarterbacks in the NFL when he put it all together. We've been seeing that progress throughout his career. This guy's legs, we knew they were phenomenal. Arm, top notch. But now we're seeing his mind come into the game. Reed's defense is better and better each and every week and is showing patience as a passer as well. Not as eager to exit the pocket, finding guys downfield for bigger plays. Now a dump off here complete. Two yards on the pickup there, and that'll make it second down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us in. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. He couldn't get away. He'll wind up losing a dozen yards, a 12-yard loss, and it brings up third. Well, they've been fighting and scratching and clawing for that first sack in the game, and it turns out to be a big one. Not just a short one right there behind the line. First one they get, 10-plus yards, and a guy who has the legs to escape most of these. Well, that last sack puts Murray in the cards in a tough spot, third and long. They'll drop to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. Let's take it inside his own 40. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And the Rams will go on offense here with a first and 10. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. On first down, Stafford here. And he's going to drop this off to Williams, complete. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 50-yard line.
from the 50, Stafford. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. From the gun, here's Stafford. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he is gonna have a Rams first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. First run now for Kyron Williams. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Second and a couple. Play action, Stafford. And he checks this one down to Williams. It'll be a gain of just a yard. And third and one now. Can you do any more work or make it more dramatic for not much gain than what we just saw there? Did you see how his toes got down? Tip-tap, tip-tap, got him down. What would he get out of it? He sold the sizzle. He just had no stake. <laughs> I mean, was it one yard? Yeah, you plays like that, you at least expect a first down there just one yard. That is caught. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Well, forget the run on third and one. They shock the D and rip off a pretty big play. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense, and he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Throwing is Stafford. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Now a second and ten. Up the middle, it's Williams. Five yards, now it's third and five. Can we just take that run and turn it into a kind of a clip and save? Because that tells you everything you need to know about this drive. They've been moving the ball awfully well. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Back to throw, Stafford. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. Make sure you get your best people in the area to try and take that away. And this one is right through. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. And Greg Dorch now to return it. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10.
Murray now. A uh, short one here caught by McBride. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They went three and out on their first drive. Things already looking better here, first and 10. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball, how much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. Nine yards is the pickup there, and they'll have a second and one. From the gun, Murray. There's the stiff arm. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw is Murray. They bring him down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. I don't know if he was just working through progressions or just unaware of the pressure, but no matter. Excellent work by the defense to get him to the ground before he could escape the pocket. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. To throw, it's Murray. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. A breakdown defensively there as the scramble is going to set him up with a much more manageable third down. I thought they were going to sack him there like they did on first down. Great coverage, but he found a way to move with his legs. Yeah, his ability to take off. Not only did he get some yardage back, he got a little bit extra. Really helps him on third down. Makes it manageable now. Now Murray. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Fourth down, Murray off, and the Cards field goal unit and Matt Prater out there now. From the right hash, this from 53. Prater's kick is good, and they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. Well, maybe a little bit of an anxious moment there as that ball got closer and closer, but it does curl in. Yeah, actually did a little bit of a slow dance there with the left upright, didn't it? But had just enough space, as you said, for it to curl in. send it away following the made field goal. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Stafford's throw, it's complete into the hands of Higby. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Now Stafford. And that'll be caught by Cup. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Stafford to his number one guy, Cup, for Los Angeles first. Defensively going forward, they're going to have to watch out for him on plays just like that. It's a drag route across the field, and they're trying to free him up and let him run after the catch. That won't be the last time we see that play, and it works there to pick up a first down. 
Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. On second down, here's Stafford. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He was in search of his tight end, Tyler Higby. But now it's third down. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. And that will be incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. Greg George, deep for Arizona. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The football going back over to Arizona now. The last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Well, we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. Connor going to get it again on second down. And running with power here. A huge play there for Arizona. 57 yards. Three our score after one here on EA Sports. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver Moore. Down to the six yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Second and four, they could still get a first down without scoring. Murray again, this is Connor. 76 yards rushing now for Connor and a first down. But think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person is on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. That's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching, and there was another first down run right there. Connor will take this one in. It's a Cardinal touchdown. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And he'll put it through, and that evens us up at 10 apiece. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark.
trouble now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Taking it right down Broadway. Still going inside the 30. Touchdown, L.A. He goes 102 yards from one end zone to the other. And the Rams have taken the lead. That was a special return, and it happened because he's a special returner. He has to have that approval from his special teams coach's head coach to bring it out of the end zone. But let's be honest, a lot of times where they bring it out of the end zone like he did there, they don't have approval. I mean, I, I think a lot of times they do, but correct me if I'm wrong, sometimes it's just a guy getting a feel, right? Yeah, exactly right. What's the old adage? Sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules, and if you do, you're taking on some responsibility, but he was happy to do so there. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes it a 17-10 score. And what a job there by all 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent, the return excellent. The result, six points. So now the other return teams out there is they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. James Conner in the Cardinal offense ready to get back to work. They'll so be looking to get in the end zone again and the touchdown as you see last drive on four carries and during the break we were looking at some of the replays from the previous drive. Really good holes created great space. Yeah I like the observation you had though during that break about okay they've got to do something to slow down their runners so is it bringing in more defensive linemen is it dropping in extra linebackers what are you going to do personally. I'm going to take my safety and drop him into the box. I'm going to have at least seven in there until he shows that he can beat me through the air. No. I've got to slow down the running. I was just going to say, you'll take the exposure in the passing game over the top until you can prove that you can stop the running game. Sometimes you go cold because you haven't thrown it in a while. Let's see if he can heat up again. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second and seven. A short one here caught by McBride. It'll be a gain of five. And now two yards to go on third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Two yards still to go. Third down now. Here's Murray. Goes right back to McBride. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. This is taken at the 18. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And out will come the offense as they take over. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach. Can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Over the middle and complete to the tight end, Higby. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Brings up second and a yard at the 34 yard line. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Off of play action. Here's Stafford. Now a diving effort right sideline. He's got it. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. A first down there on a pickup of 25. 
When I played in the yard as a kid, I used to imitate the spectacular catches that I would see on TV. I don't think I ever imitated one quite that well. <laughs> Come on, give yourself some credit. No, I know better. What we just saw there, that was pretty special. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stump that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible to something a little more advantageous. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Complete. Now they're staring at a fourth down as Arizona's defense does its job. And this defense definitely in his head there on third down, and he's pretty fortunate. They didn't call for grounding on this one. That was a good 10 feet over everyone's head. Ethan Evans on now to punt. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. First down, Murray. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll bring up second down. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. Here's Higgins out on the right side. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Connor up the middle. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. Second and six. They run behind center with Connor. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Well, with the kind of half he's had, I think we can forgive him that run, right? Not every run's going to be a big play, is it? No, and also the blocking just wasn't there. No room to run. Yeah, defensively, they got to find a way to build on that because he's eating them alive in the first half. Just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Blake Gilligan on to punt here as he'll send this one away. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Rams will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and 10.
Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 12 yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Open man right side is cuff complete. And he'll go out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be second down. Out of the gun, Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. Now a play fake it at Stafford. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. On second down, Williams. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. on third down they've hit at 50 percent three of six to this point this will be third and six and the pressure gets to him and brings him down Stafford is sacked they overload him that time on the safety blitz and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven oh free safety blitz that can be a gamble but it proves fruitful there yeah you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass and when he comes at the quarterback he better get home and make the play otherwise a big play could result for the offense so possession goes over here on the punt and the cards will take over first and ten Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And this will be caught by Brown. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. And that one on the rookie, Charles, maybe a little too overeager. You know how many times you about the quarterback having to have a clock in his head and make sure the ball gets away before the rush gets there? When you're a pass rusher, you have to know when the ball is gone and make sure you don't hit the quarterback afterwards. I know he was trying to make a play, but that time, he ends up drawing the flag. Throwing on first down is Murray. To Connor on the check down. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Now second and five. Murray giving to Connor on the draw. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Seven yards there at a first down. Offensive linemen are famous for doing their job no matter who's carrying the ball. But when they have the confidence that the person carrying it can break off big time runs, it makes them block just a little bit harder. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Murray. He's got this downfield to McBride. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, from an offense's perspective, that sure was pretty because the corner route 
it's extremely difficult to defend from my perspective. What we just saw there, is that sort of the evolution of the tight end position? Yeah, I think it is because more and more, tight ends are being treated like wide receivers. These are some agile players who can make a play at any spot on the field. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. They'll toss this out right for Connor. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. It's a five-receiver set, three to the left, two to the right. Murray going to try to throw on third down. That's to McBride, and he has it. Touchdown, Cardinals. A five-yard touchdown catch, and the Cardinals are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am <laughs> going ahead and tapping out the first half. Well, There's still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, whether they want to let their return guy touch it. Extra point good by Prater, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. Seventeen, the score, all even to this point as it kicks away. And he returns this to the 22. Now the Rams going to take over late in this first half. And they've got a little under 40 seconds to go if they want to try to put something together here. First and ten, Stafford. That'll be caught. It's caught. The Rams are going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Back to throw, Stafford. Looking for Cooper Cup again, two in a row. Room here to run. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, he's been a busy man in this first half. They've targeted him quite a bit, including both plays here to start this drive. And until that defense starts reacting a little better, they may just keep going back to him. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Stafford. Screen play set up for Williams. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Here's second and ten. To the air again, Stafford. 
Going to be taken in here by Nakua. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Now a timeout signaled for. They'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as he'll try to get three before half. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. And his kick is indeed good. And with that, they take the lead here 20 to 17. So a big play before the end of the half to get them into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal. Not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Past midfield. Still going. One man to beat. And he takes it the distance. No time remaining. No cloth on the field. Yeah, no flags. And it's a kickoff return to end the first half. So it's been a back and forth game, a lot of points on the board, and that return right there kind of indicative of how this thing's gone. Now you've seen both teams go at it, and as you just pointed out, both of them have found the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the blow that hurts the most? The one you didn't see coming, and that often is the case when it comes in special teams. Prater for the extra point, and that will take us to the end of the first half of play. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. We watched the veteran James Conner put together a very solid first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. These offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here's the Cardinals' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. And I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation and pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. On first and 10, here's Murray. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. So the completion good for seven there. And that will bring up second down. Now Murray. He's got McBride here over the middle. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. First 
To throw is Murray. Goes right back to McBride. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. to throw it's Murray he'll dump this one off to Connor and this play will be blown up he'll lose yardage back at the 38 it'll go down as a two yard loss and it brings up a third down heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game scouting watching film and understanding defensively what the play design was from the gun on third down Murray down he goes drop for a loss of seven by multiple defenders that's be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter get a sack get off the field get the momentum going in their direction get the ball back to your offense right get that momentum because hey this lead is very very slim on fourth down the punt team is on as this is sent away fair catch called it's taken in right at the 20 yard line so a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And we get a look at Cooper Cup as the Rams offense gets ready to take over possession. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Now a throw over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Throwing is Stafford. He'll get this one to Cup complete. And Cup going to pick up a Rams first down as he'll get this up to the 32. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Stafford. Short throw, it's Higby. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Stafford now to throw. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. And Cup going to pick up a Rams first down as he'll get this to the 44-yard line. Give him two on the play there. And the Rams are going to get a first down. A give to Williams, running right. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Second and five. And they'll send Cup in motion right. And they'll fake the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle to Williams. And he'll get it down here to the 43. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. And down to the 41. This is second and eight. He 
Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. He really hasn't been able to get on track running the football, averaging less than four yards a carry. Yeah, I think that they're going to enjoy the film session because all the defenders are filling their proper gaps on just about every play. And you know what they always say for a defensive coach, when I click off this film, I better see 11 jerseys in the picture going after the ball carrier. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Off of play action, here's Stafford. Throw left side, complete to cup. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A well-executed 22-yard gain. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. They'll try and run. This is Williams. Muscles him off. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. On second down, here's Stafford. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and that'll bring up a third down and goal. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. Now Stafford on third and goal. He's got it. It's Higby. Touchdown Rams. A five-yard touchdown catch, and the Rams have retaken a third-quarter lead. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they've turned that halftime deficit into a third-quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well, moving the ball down the field. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And that one gives them a three-point lead. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He'll get that one complete to Connor. Fighting his way through contact. Touchdown, Cardinals! James Connor, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Cardinals have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. 
Extra point good by Prater. And that will make this a four-point game. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see. Just one play resulting in the touchdown. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The football going back to the Rams now. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and 10. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big gain. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash, too. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Buda Baker, the safety. He gets in for the secondary for the sack. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it. It's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. They'll hand it off now. Williams found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. 62 yards rushing for him now in the ballgame. spot here third down and 11 now Stafford pass to the sideline and pulled in yeah he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40 a good pick up there a 22 and that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game chart. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. The previous play is under review. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stays. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. <laughs> on first down at Stafford. That'll be caught. It's cut. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Touchdown, Rams. Puka Nakua, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams have answered back with a third-quarter touchdown of their own to retake the lead.
I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Point after, right down the middle. And that gives him a three-point lead. So the drive there took six plays, and it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Here's James Conner now as he trots back onto the field. He's toppled the century mark already, receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to play just about every snap as if another receiver can get downfield on them, and he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yardage running the ball will increase as this one goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him, something just to stop the momentum he has. From the 34-yard line, here's second down and two. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray steps away. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And this offense on third down today, they've had their troubles, just one for six. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They tried their best to pick up that third and one, but their surge wasn't enough to counteract what came back at them from the defensive side, was it? Offensive line, especially in the middle, looked like they were on skates a little bit when that one started. So now we bring up fourth and inches. This would be a critical call. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. Take it in at the 22. Called out a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And they will take over first and 10. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Now that'll be caught by Cup, And they're able to get this one across the 35. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. From the gun, here's Stafford. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and that's going to bring up second down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. And now a hook up downfield on second down. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 
It's a gain of 34. Offense just continues to reign supreme. Big plays, both sides, back and forth. Tough to keep track of. It certainly is, and I'm over here just marveling at what I'm seeing. It's tough for you, though. you got to call all these big plays and have all this emotion each time they go at each other. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Throwing again at Stafford. Over the middle and complete to the tight end, Higby. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. Charles, he's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectations. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And, of course, the guy throwing them, he's a big-time player himself. They brought it from start to finish and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot, forcing the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Now a handoff, here's Williams. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Kyron Williams, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Rams are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and they actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Extra point right down the middle. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. That time, a six-play drive. And it was capped off by the Kyron Williams touchdown run. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So out now come the Cardinals. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 23. He'll start the drive with a give to Connor. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. Murray now. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. 
So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. It's taken to the 26. A 39-yard punt, a return of five. And the Rams will go on offense here with a first and 10. L.A. readies for its next possession. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10, right at the 30. They'll hand this to Williams to start things out. 78 yards rushing for him now to this point. Here now, second and four. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been to bell cow all day, and he'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 43. To throw is Stafford. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Cooper Cup was his intended target, but it's going to be second down. Up the middle, it's Williams. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he is going to have a Rams first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Stafford's pass complete. He's got Cup, and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Now carry number 20 of the game. Here's Williams. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. This offense so far on third down. They've converted seven times and could use another right now. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Starting to feel a little to me like the air is coming out of the balloon, so to speak, defensively. They're taking their will from them right now. That's what they're doing. Whatever they want to call, it's working. They're handling things up front. And it's not just the offensive line. It's everyone. You're seeing the guys on the perimeter blocking downfield and making sure that they're secure. So, yeah, you're exactly right. The air is out of the balloon. And right now, they're almost lifeless. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. And now a tip of the cap to the man under center, Charles. He just went over 400 yards passing in this ball game. He's got the touchdown passes to boot, taking pretty good care of the ball. Just all around a really solid performance. Yeah, just check, 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 and check, right? Because he certainly showed he was worthy of the trust that his team put in him. A handful of touchdowns to his credit thus far. Now he's just crossing off yardage milestones and win or lose his name has to be in serious discussion for player of the game a good chance now to put this game on ice this is first and goal Stafford 
Stafford. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. He was looking for Cooper Cup there, but it'll be second and goal. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Partner, it's been my experience that after two stops like that near the goal line, defense has only become bolder. They don't back off at all. I think they continue to bring pressure and force them to make a really big play against them. And the incompletion, then the run for no gain. Let's see now. This one swung out to Williams. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Well, there certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone, covered. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field. And he'll try and throw here on the fake. And this one will not work out. It is incomplete. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And this Cardinal defense comes up with a goal line stand. Kyler Murray now in the Cardinal offense. Down by 10, 2.09 to play. They'll have one play, maybe two, before the two-minute warning as they've got a first down. Murray now on first down. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. First down, Murray. On the throw, let him too much that time. It's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Another try, second and 10 now. Now Murray. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Boy, here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. Back to throw, Murray. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. And now it appears that the referee's been buzzed, and we'll get a review. And this being inside two minutes of play, everything coming from up above. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, play, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. A two timeout still remaining, but scoring quickly, a must. It's first and 10. Murray to throw. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. They'll try again here, second and 10. To throw is Murray. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Oh 
Here now, third down. Here's Murray. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Well, they're not going to go quietly. That's a big play right there. Two scores down. They're not out of this, but they've got to move. First down now, but the clock continues to move. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Here now, second and 10 from the 13. Throwing again, Murray. That's pulled in by Wilson. An important one here, no doubt. Third and four. Play fake, Murray. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by John Johnson. And the Rams are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust. And unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here. Maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout. And they come up with the interception in the end zone. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> How happy are they? Uh, I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. And a fair catch taken here right at about the 40-yard line. Well, this was a fun one today. If you like points, a lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles, these defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did they? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency. Not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory. Even better for them.